Heading back to Maryland, the suspect in Rachel Moran's killing will return to Harford County to face justice in the murder of the mother of five. Hello everyone, I'm Vic Carter. Welcome to WJZ's All Local News at 6. Today, Victor Martinez Hernandez faced a judge in Oklahoma where police arrested him over the weekend, 10 months after the murder of Rachel Moran in Bel Air. And tonight, we're learning new details in that case. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is in your corner with the follow-up live along the Ma and Pa Trail in Harford County to explain where the case goes from here. Mike. Well, Vic, the suspect will be taken more than 1,200 miles from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Bel Air within the next two weeks. Today, we spoke to a loved one of Morin who called him a psychopath, and there are fears there could be more victims. It really rips your heart out when you don't have that closure. Matt McMahon is the father of the oldest of Rachel Morin's five children. He's heartbroken, but finally has that closure 10 months after she was attacked and murdered along the Mon Pa Trail in Bel Air with the arrest of 23 year old Victor Martinez Hernandez. I understand he's a coward. He only attacks women that are smaller than him and children. I'm not scared of him and I'm going to be there until you know, the gavel comes down. And he's guilty. McMahon also revealed Morin will soon be a grandmother. I feel really sad that they can't give this news to Rachel. I feel really sad that Rachel can't be there for the birth of her granddaughter. Um, but I'm also just relieved that this chapter is closing. Police say Martinez Hernandez entered the United States illegally after killing a woman in El Salvador eight months before Morin. He's also accused of attacking a nine-year-old girl in a home invasion in Los Angeles. Harford County authorities say he had ties to gangs in Prince George's County and after leaving Harford County, somehow made his way to Tulsa where he was arrested outside a bar over the weekend. Deputies are still trying to pinpoint exactly where he was in Maryland and when, in case there are other victims. Sheriff Jeff Gaylor put up a sign announcing the arrest along the trailhead. And we want the people who routinely make use of this trail who have for more than 20 years to know that the person responsible for the horrific event for Rachel's murder is behind bars and no longer poses a threat here in Harford County or anywhere in the world. The FBI sent agents to El Salvador and were able to find the suspect using DNA. People we spoke to in Bel Air are relieved someone is in custody. How hard did that hit home for you? Um, it's definitely scary, like as a woman. It's definitely worrisome that something like that could happen so close to home, but I think it definitely gives people a peace of mind. Don't know if you've seen around, there's signs everywhere, there's flowers everywhere, stuff like that. So I feel like a lot of people do still care. They were still invested, so definitely closure for sure. Police believe the suspect may have spotted Morin and learned her routine. They're hoping to get more answers in the days ahead. We want to build the timeline. We want to make the case as, as ironclad as possible for the state's attorney. We'll send people out, bring him back uh, here, and then booked into our jail here in Harford County. Now, the Harford County state's attorney says she plans to try this case personally and seek an indictment before a grand jury as soon as possible. Live in Bel Air, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you.